Hey guys, this is Delilah Spiritual Spot. I'm Delilah Rose coming with your daily reading for Friday, June 24th, 2022. We're going to jump right into it with Aries. Um, as I shuffle these cards, if you can give me a like, share, and comment, that'd be great. It really helps me out and helps me grow. And um, as I mentioned, I'm using my Moonology decks. So the first edition and uh, second edition decks here. So let's start with our Aries. Um, I'm going to clear my mind and what does Aries need to know for Friday, June 24th, 2022. <sighs> Aries, we have two cards here. So you have adjust adjustments are required third quarter moon, and then you have you and your loved ones are safe. So Aries, you have a lot on your mind in terms of your family and maybe providing for your family life uh, and, um, you may need to adjust the plan, but spirit wants you to know, the divine wants you to know that you and your loved ones are safe, that you're going to be okay and you're going to get through this, even though adjustments, adjustments are required. You also have the new moon in Gemini. Think it through. Whatever plan you're working on, think it in, think it through through its entirety, right? Try to uh, do some planning here. Uh, because we have that adjustment, they want you to take a thorough look at things and maybe look at things from a different perspective because I'm getting hanged man um, energy here. So rest assured, you're protected. Your loved ones are protected. Adjustments are needed. And we're going to think things through through a magnifying glass, making sure all your I's are dotted and all your T's are crossed. That is for you, Aries. We're going to move forward with our Taurus. And let's see what our Tauruses need to know for this Friday, June 24th, 2022. Let's get started, Taurus. Taurus, you have expert, expect powerful changes. New moon, in, new moon eclipse. Wow. There's something... There's something big is going to happen, right? Expect powerful changes. That speaks for itself. Um, I, I, I'm not getting a negative feeling with this. Um, if I did, I would tell you. Um, I think that this is a shift, a shift that is necessary, a shift that um, I think that you are working towards. And I, I think that's wonderful. Your secondary card here is release control, first quarter moon in Taurus. So you are showing up strong in this. So again, this is by your hand, by your design, that you've already set this ball in motion. The change is going to occur. It is faded. And you just need to release the ball. Don't try to control it anymore. anymore. It's all in motion. And let's see what happens. But this is something positive for you. This is something you've meditated on. This is something you've tried to manifest here. You've used your instinct here. We have the third eye symbol on this card as well. So this is something that you have manifested through your intuition. I like that, Taurus. Very good for you, Taurus. Very positive. Let's move forward with our Gemini. What does Gemini need to know for June 24th, 2022? Gemini. Gemini, you have a, a new start is coming, new moon. How wonderful is that? You know, I think you needed this. I think you needed some new energy. I think you needed to hit the restart button. And this is the perfect opportunity to just begin again. And we're headed right into the weekend. So maybe you can get into some self-care and, uh, and prepare for this new start. You have last quarter moon in Gemini. It's amazing. So like Taurus, Gemini, you are showing up for your own reading here. Clear your mind. Clear your mind. We're starting anew. Don't bring that uh, baggage into the new beginning of what it is you want to be, what it is you want to become. We can have new beginnings all the time, right? Today is a brand new day you can start again. So just remember that if you take a step backwards, we, we're going to move forward. You know, sometimes we take a couple of steps back and then we leap forward, keep the forward motion 
I like this for you, Gemini. Very powerful position. Uh, you showing up in your own me uh, reading like that. Moving forward to Cancer. Cancer, uh, my Cancerians. What do you need to know? What's the vibe for June 24th, Friday, June 24th, 2022? Cancerians, you have, you are good enough, full moon in Virgo. You are good enough. There's a lot of heart healing that needs to happen. There's a lot of uh, a solitaire, solid, you need some solitary time, right? I don't know if, I don't know if, um, if you had a, a, lot, a lot of time, I don't know if I, I'm getting fear with this, right? So I don't know how to place this. I don't know if you're afraid of something or if you're afraid to go within. There's fear here that I'm feeling uh, with being alone, being solitary with your thoughts. Um, I want you to know that you are good enough. You need to take time to do some heart healing here represented by that green color on the card. Um, maybe get out in nature um, and just center yourself. And don't be fearful of what you're going to face because that's where your healing is going to happen. Your secondary card is new moon and cancer. So cancer, another person showing up strong in their reading. So we are in ourselves. We are in our the embodiment of our uh, astrology signs, astrological signs. We are in the embodiment of that. So we are in our own way here. Relax. Go out in nature. You are good enough. Let's be alone. Let's work on ourselves and, and get some of that healing, some of that earth energy um, that you need in your life. Because you are good enough. And it is your time to relax. Moving forward to Leo. What does Leo need to know for June 24th, 2022? Let's see what our lovely Leos uh, are vibing with. A time for healing. Balsamic moon. There's a lot of healing that needs to be happening here. A lot of signs have got that internal uh, look going into the weekend with um, with some heart, some mind, some spirit healing, healing. I think it's important for everyone to take time to, uh, to mind themselves uh, and mind all of themselves, not just one aspect. So mind, body, and spirit. Do something that feeds all of this. Your secondary card is last quarter moon in Capricorn. Leave the past behind. And maybe that's what we need to heal from. A lot of uh, energy from the past, a lot of doing things to move forward, uh, a lot of letting go. I, it's just time. This is why we see this come out for so many signs. It's just time, right? It's just time to move forward. It's something that is cosmic, cosmically happening for everyone. Um, I love this. This is also part of the great awakening that's happening is that people are getting pushed um, to heal from past traumas. Uh, moving forward to our Virgos. Let's see, Virgo. What, do, what does Virgo need to know? Let's see what our lovely Virgos need to know. What do you need to release? Waning moon, you see? Ma another message of release right forgiveness moving forward going through the winter going facing the harshness of our past right the pain what do you need to release your secondary card here new moon in, new moon in aries go for it it's your time it's your time to walk through this fire and reclaim your power reclaim your passion reclaim your energy Reclaim the person you once were, was before the, the BS. This is your time. This is your time, Virgo. Next, we're moving on to our Libras. So let's see, what does our Libra need to know? What does Libra need to know? Let's pick a card here. We're going to pick two cards because that's, that's what they told me to do. 
So we have to, we have a uh, first card, look at the bigger picture, full moon in Sagittarius. And then you have hold your vision, right? What, it, what is it you want to accomplish? Hold that vision and then expand on it and look at the bi bigger picture. You're so laser focused, you're missing something. So we want to broaden that focus a little bit while keeping attention on what it is we want to accomplish and moving forward you have your secondary or third card here is new moon in leo and you have it's your time to shine it is your time to blossom it's, it's your time to go after what it is you want but don't be so narrow-minded there is a bigger picture here maybe a bigger reach maybe a bigger dream something you can expand upon that is your message libra Uh, moving on to Scorpio. What does Scorpio need to know? Scorpio, Scorpio, Sco Scorpio for June 24th, 2022. Let's see here, Scorpio. You have bring love into the situation. Um, you also have take time to breathe out. And you have show the world the real you. So, once you bring love into, into yourself, once you love yourself, right, and you're taking the time and energy to breathe, you also want to bring um, or let everyone know who you are, right? Because you are perfect the way you are. There's no need to change. The, you have new moon in Aquarius and full moon in Aquarius. So the release... And the manifestation is all in your power, right? You also have disseminating moon. You know, understanding, picking and choosing wisely. This is your time to breathe out and choose, make a choice and choose wisely what it is you need to release and what it is you need to manifest. Guys, if you're not seeing the cards, hop on over to Spotify. Spotify has video or my YouTube channel, Delilah Spiritual Spot. Your secondary or uh, card from the other secondary deck is New Moon in Sagittarius. Focus on the positive, right? Bring love into the situation. Take time to breathe out. Focus on the positive because there's always going to be something negative. And show the world the, the real you. No need to hide. No need to change for anyone. That is for you, Scorpio. Moving on to our Sagittarius's. Sagittarius, what do you need to know? For June 24th, 2022, what is the vibe of the day for you? You have the end of a tough cycle approaches. This is the end. Full moon in Capricorn. This is the end of it. This is time to release it. This is time to let go of the baggage. That weight that you've been carrying is closing. What a wonderful card here. Your additional card is first quarter moon in Scorpio. Release your blocks. What is it that is blocking you? Right? What is it that is blocking you from moving forward? Can you let this go? Can you let it go? The universe is pushing you to let it go. The universe is dropping it. What's keeping it alive? Are you keeping it alive? Make sure that you are practicing release. Release the anger is what I want to say. Let that anger go. Don't let it control you. That is for you, Sagittarius. Let's move on to our... Capricorns. Capricorn, what do you need to know for June 24th, 2022? You have be bold and make the first move. Cardinal moon. Sometimes you have to grab the bull by the horn and get up the uh, gumption or energy to make the first move. The first move is always the hardest, right? Taking that first leap, trusting fate, having that confidence, it is your time. You're probably feeling confident at this time. There is something about the way you look, the way you feel, the energy is high, and you're going to be pushed to, to make the first move, and you should do it. 
Your secondary card is last quarter moon in Aquarius. Reflect on your priorities. What are the priorities? We don't want to make a first move for with something that doesn't matter. We want to prioritize our energy. We want to prioritize that confidence. Use it for something worthwhile. You don't want to waste this time frame. That is for you, Capricorn. Let's get to Aquarius. Aquarius, let's see here. Aquarius, what does Aquarius need to know? What does Aquarius need to know for June 24th, 2022? A personal issue reaches resolution. Full moon and cancer. Whatever it is that is weighing on your spirit, it's going to resolve. With that full moon, you want to resolve it and move on, move forward. These readings are full of a lot of the same messages because we're all feeling that vibration from Mother Earth. God, the divine, whatever you believe in, is pushing us to drop things that no longer serve us, vibrate higher so we can live our best life ever. This is about personal power. Your secondary card is take a breather. Last quarter moon in Cancer. Two Cancerian cards here, Aquarius. So emotions are high here. You're probably feeling very emotional. It's probably a very emotional situation. And now that it's coming to a resolution, you could still be riding high on those endorphins. Take time. Take time to relax, relate, release. Relax, relate, release. That is your message, Aquarius. And as always, say it every time, last but not least, we're going to get into our messages for Pisces. So what does Pisces need to know? What does Pisces need to know? For June 24th, 2022, Pisces, it's time to release the negativity. Now, if you listen to all the signs, you see there's a theme here, full moon and Scorpio. Full moon is about release right? It's about letting go what no longer serves us. A great practice is writing things down, burning them, and blowing the ashes out into the universe. It is a reset. If you do that, it is symbolic, right? There's It's like lighting candles at church. It's something that symbolizes what it is you want to manifest. You want to manifest the letting go the releasing. Start with positive affirmations every morning and before you go to sleep. This helps. I started doing this. This really, uh, this really does, does help uh, brighten the energy, pick up the energy. Your secondary card is a first quarter moon in Libra. Keep your heart open. When you release the negativity, we are opening ourselves up to new positive positive energy new possibilities if you're releasing the baggage of a relationship you don't want to keep that energy uh, for your next relationship we want to come in with an open heart and this is for you pisces and i'm delilah rose and again if you can like share and subscribe and next is the bonus readings that comes in a couple of days so thank you guys